Hey what's going on guys, PSV here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial how to set up the Logitech G27 with Farming Simulator 2015. It's pretty simple to do, I've seen quite a few tutorials of it, people make it more complicated than it is. But this is how to set it up with 900 degrees turning in game as well as the steering wheel. Makes it a bit more realistic. So let's jump in. So first of all what you're going to do is open up your Logitech profiler and once you've loaded that up you want to make sure you have the Logitech G27 selected just in case you do have any other Logitech products as in a joystick or an, even another steering wheel just to double check you can select devices and just make sure it is the Logitech that you've got selected after that you want to go to options global device settings so if I set it back to default so this is the whole default settings um, this is yours may look a bit different but the best thing to do is just select it back to default and this is how I like to have my game set up on it so what I do is turn all three of these down to 0% the spring I always like it on about 50 so if I put it about 49 is close enough you can that's basically the strength of the centering spring so when you turn the steering wheel how stiff it is to turn and stuff also what you want to do is put the degrees up to 900 degrees so obviously that's your steering so you want to put your degrees up to 900 uh, steering it's one and a half, one and a half times and then there's only two boxes you want ticked you want that one's ticked uh, report commanding pedals and allow game to adjust the settings and then click OK and that's all you need to do in the Logitech profiler so what I'm going to do is now jump over to Farming Sim 15 and show you what you need to do. Okay, so when you've loaded up Farming Simulator 15, you want to go down to Options, what's third from the bottom. Then you want to click this one. And then you want to make sure Steering Wheel slash Gamepad is turned on. Then just turn that on. Then go down to Controls. And as you can see, it has its own section where you can customise your controls for Gamepad. What I'm going to do is just quickly show you how to set up the steering. Uh, where's the steering? If I can find it on here, then I will show you. Probably gone past it lots of times. Oh, here we go. So basically, to steer right, all you want to do, as you can see, steer left and steer right is the same. But all you want to do is click that and steer your steering wheel all the way to the right and then center it up again as easy as that and then the same for the left just steer it all the way to the left and always to the right and that will assign it as that the pedals again drive backwards what I do that's your brake and your drive back backwards so what I do is has that as the brake on the pedals so you just click that and then press the pedal down and then let go of the pedal and it assigns that and the same for the drive forwards I have that as the accelerator just click that press your accelerator and then it assigns it to there all the other ones oh bear with us a second bear with us two seconds to make sure I've covered everything yeah so steer left and right drive forwards and backwards and all the other controls you can customise to whatever you feel comfortable itself on the Lodge Tech G27, I will say not all of the buttons on the height shifter and the steering wheel will actually work on this game. That is one problem that I do have. Only a certain amount of buttons will work. Like I believe on the steering wheel, it's only the top two um, on the steering wheel on the left and right. It's only the top ones that work. And on the height shifter, I think there's only a handful that will assign to different controls. So after that, you just want to save it. It will shut the game up, shut the game down, and reload it. I'm not going to save it because I haven't done no changes, and that's as simple as it is. Before I change anything, I will just say I do have the dead zone set as two. Before someone comments saying what do I have my dead zone set as, I have that as two percent. That's what I'm quite comfortable with. I don't have no drifting or anything of the tractors. So apart from that that's everything so I hope this has helped you and you all enjoy using Logitech G27 on Farming Simulator it does make the game a big game changer if you did enjoy this video please ensure to give it a thumbs up 
and I'll see you guys in the next video.